that's uh, general assent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Attention is specifically drawn to section 3.2 on page 14 of the papers where providers of notes are identified. First item relates to a uh, contract procedure issue within the pension fund that was previously reported to this committee. Um, we've now managed to undertake some follow-up right, uh, and to the, uh, the issues that are identified. It's concerned the withdrawals of some infrastructure and services that are private services to the fund. A number of issues have been raised. Thank you. 
we have a list of that insurance that can be seen and sort of from time to time we're likely to come back uh, after your wedding we need to be marked what they are and what should be marked and looking for. And then I'll move on just to page uh, 23 and 24. in regards to the appendix. The appendix in its entirety identifies those regulations that remain outstanding, haven't been implemented. The ones that I've removed from here, or when I've been provided with assurances by managers that action has been taken. Now the only thing I've not been able to do is to actually sort of verify the actual action that's been taken and test the outcome from that implementation. That will happen as part of the normal sort of all cycle. All I've done is remove those items that remain on the spreadsheet back in the office that not been able to recite them. What will happen is when the follow-up work is undertaken later this month, early next month, the testing will be undertaken and those items will either be consigned because I'm happy with the action that have been taken within the time scale, I'm happy with the outcomes now, or if I'm not happy, they get reintroduced to this list. So you won't lose sight of them. I'm very happy to come back to you in relation to more detail, yeah, that's not a problem. I thought the report was detailed enough, but I'm very happy to provide as much of the as you require. Just to come back on yeah. the
those unarmed, the ordered deport, and the report is like that, then obviously the flag starts to, to get raised because this committee can only do its job, but it gets the right information at the right time. And when, when you start slipping, then we, then we uh, are not able to do our job properly. Uh, so my, my question is, with these two appointees, um, will the planning board back onto schedule before the end of the year? And will it start to implement a little bit more information on those areas that are constantly Councillor Caribbean or indeed Councillor Sykes over the last two years, I would be tearing what remains. 
guess is that uh, either bring a more detailed uh, feedback from the officers concerned to the next meeting, or the officers concerned come along, or, or we have some feedback from the corporate governance group itself, I think, to, to again provide you with those kind of assurances in relation to the bikes and don't contain any one of the three or a combination of the three. You advise me what you would like now, we'll make sure that uh, that is actually. Okay, so I know Ron, you wanted to come back to the group. Yeah, I did.
So at the end of the meeting, we've got the list rather than wait till the end and everybody stick yeah. their bits in. Can we do it as we go along? Yeah. Yeah. I think that would make it tidy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, are you happy with that as it stands? Yes.
this is an update. The handbook is dated the last case of the members back in June. And this is an update taking what's happened in Evil Sister. And of course, highlights from the significant changes since. 